Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakradash, double honors to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. It's going to be a quick video. I want to go into Romans, the fifth chapter, and I'm going to bring out about uh, maybe five verses go down to the uh, to the fifth verse okay lord willing this video is edifying and let's get into it it says therefore being justified by faith meaning we can stand before the most highest righteous uh through faith and justified to say i'm standing before you as uh righteous not by us keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, only through um, us believing. And uh, it takes two, meaning you have to show your faith. It takes faith and works, according to St. John. Not St. John, I'm sorry, James. The second chapter, the 17, 18 uh, verse. All right? Verses. Which uh, we show our will show our faith by our works okay it says we have peace with Yahweh through our lord Yahweh shah mashayat and we and we are uh, we're not at war or rebelling against the most high when you come into the fold or when you're brought into the fold of truth all right, through um, the faith being activated through through uh, uh, hearing of the word, because the scriptures tell us in Romans ten and seventeen that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the of the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and then what we uh, ultimately we have peace peace of mind because we know the the end and we know that when we are in good standards with the most high if we remain in this truth and said like that excuse me and it says by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand because we under we're under grace right now but the way we have have access to this um, grace which is given by our Lord Yahweh Shai from, or from Yahweh but he used Yahweh Shai to be our uh, grace so the way we access the uh, have access to the grace is through the through the faith alright then you're up under, under grace it says and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai you know, we're rejoicing that our Heavenly Father and His Son are going to be glorified on this, this planet Earth once it's all said and done. Well, check out the next verse. It says, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Or, um, in other words, tribulation bringeth about endurance or being made uh doable yes our spirits being uh hardened all right like the scriptures say uh, tell us to cast off the weak nature right cast off that weak nature and we we ought to stand up and be um men of the lord you know being raised up in this this westernized mindset it, it raises men and everybody ultimately, but I'm dealing with the uh, the men. It raises uh, boys to be boys up to be emotional, soft, effeminate. Okay, that's why uh, when we deal in the when we go into the scriptures and we look at the uh, the nastiness of the scriptures, the apostle Tahar had uh, coined that uh, phrase, the nastiness of the scriptures, going into some. Uh, some hard to accept 
concepts and uh, laws, accounts, and the scriptures, you know, meaning hard to accept, meaning you got to put your emotions up and, and, and uh, take the scriptures for what they say. All right. So it's so uh, we are we are to basically become we got to become uh, doable, doable meaning when tough times come that you know that don't make us fold like a like a cheap lawn chair. All right, when all the when we when we catch the the hell and go through the trials and the tribulations, we're doable. We're made doable to to uh, withstand that and not let the uh the trials and tribulations break us so let's read this again it says and not only so but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulations work with patience meaning it it, it 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 makes you endure uh, durable and then it says and patience or endurance now um uh, i'm gonna show you we know the word patience goes into suffering but reading this, um, reading this in context, show you uh, why I'm saying doable. Because I'm, I went to the, uh, I looked up the word before I started this video. So the word for patience. Strong's G fifty two eighty one. Upamane. 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 And it says steadfast, consistency, endurance. It says uh, in the New Testament, the characteristics of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and his loyalty to faith and piety by even the greatest trials and suffering. See? It says patiently, steadfastly, patient, steadfast fast waiting for a patient enduring sustaining perseverance enduring consistency all right well, let's go back the sufferings make you harder make it to where you have thick skin so to speak it says Let's go back. We're going back to the verse. It says, "In patience, ex experience, because you go. Through, we we're in this truth. We go through so many different trials and uh, tribulations, and we gain experience from them, right? And we come out, and we had in that trip, and uh, we come out on the other side of these different tri trials and tribulations, not broken. We've been made." Uh, uh doable we uh persevered through it all right we can we continued in the faith through the through the different trials and, and tribulations all right it says and that and then after doing that going through that for so long you gain experience on how to deal with those situations you can give uh counsel to younger men on how to deal in them situations. All right? You can give words of ex exhortation to strengthen, you know, other brothers when they go through similar situations. And if that situation or that particular tribulation comes back around, you know, it won't affect you as it did before. Okay? It says in the inexperienced hope. And ultimately, what does that do? You can you can interchange this word hope with faith. What does the uh, the the trials, the tribulations that make you harder, and going through trials over and over again, it makes you um, it get brings it ha it makes you to have experience. And ultimately, what does that do? It increase that increases your faith. And uh, I'm gonna end it. Uh, I said I'm gonna read. I said five verses. So let me read the next verse. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai 
is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. So the, the main thing I really want to grab out of this, these verses, all of it, of course, but the main thing was, you know, hell, catching hell is a necessary for, for experience and it, 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 it boosts you up in the, in the, in the faith. When you get through that trial and tr that different the, the different trials that we've all went through, and you and you come out on the other side, still in the faith, it builds you up in the faith. I'm in the video right here, and Lord willing, it was edifying once again. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, and double one to our apostles again, and elder bishops of great millstone and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation Israel and Shalom.